what were your thoughts when you heard that? Of course, it's a step in the right direction. I mean, it's obviously, I wanted her to be terminated, but this is a step in the right direction. And upholding Mike Lennon's decision is very important. And I think it helps um, not only Alex to know that she did receive some sort of punishment, but it helps other children who've been put in this position as well. Uh, I know you said you preferred termination in this case. From what it seems like, she's going to be suspended for a year from St. Lucie County Schools, put on an annual contract, taken away for tenure status, and then he's recommending that her license be taken away also for a year so that right. she can't teach elsewhere. Um, do you think that, uh, that in a year's time she can go back into the classroom and, and be a better teacher because of it? I don't think so. I think a person who is a good teacher, like much like Alex is now, is a person who's born with that and they have that good nurturing spirit. And his teacher now is just a perfect example of that. It's something people are born to do and they're able to, and willing to work with children of different needs. Um, what, um, what, what changes do you think a decision like this might inspire in the school district? I mean, obviously this has brought to light the issues um, of, of autistic children and, and discipline and so forth. Do you think that things can change or are changing? I think that they're changing slowly, and I think we have a lot of more advocating and a lot more parents be more vocal before we get the changes that we need for our children. So we have some time to go, but I see some positive changes already. Do you feel vindicated in a way that this has come to pass? I don't think you can ever feel vindicated. You know, once something like this is done, you can't unring a bell. Mm -hmm. So will there ever be vindication for me? Probably not. Um, when your child is hurt in such a way, it, there's almost no taking that back. All you can do is look forward. And out of this, the birth of my advocating for children like Alex has actually come out. So that's a good thing. And at least, you know, you have to find what's the silver lining to these clouds. And this just happens to be one of them. And doing projects like the tie dye Project, for example, mm -hmm. has really connected children. And we've had an amazing response to that. So that's where we're headed with this in the next direction. Does Alex, is Alex aware of what happened today? Yes, he is. Does he have an understanding of what it means? Well, you know, you can't give him details because he, yeah. he's also six, so he's mm -hmm. not going to understand them. But he does, he does understand um, to a degree. He said, Mom, what will she do then? And he said, what, you know, what kind of job can she do? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, not right now. She can't work with children. So, and I, I know that that pleases him to a degree because it was really important to him personally that she didn't work with children with Asperger's syndrome or autism, just on a personal level for him. So I can imagine as an adult, at least he can look back on this and say, there was some consequences for her actions when so many other children suffer the same fate and there are no consequences. Do, do you think he's still um, feeling some effects of what happened? Do you think he's still hurt by what happened? Or, you know, kids, their memories sometimes, you know, what happened two weeks ago, they forget all about it. But do you think this is something that will stick with him? But children with Asperger's syndrome are really different than your typical child. Their memories are so different, and they think in puzzles, and they think in a way that, you know, we sort of don't have the ability to think. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it will affect him, but he's also working with a counselor, a psychologist, every single week to, to get through some of the issues. But he's still bothered by this? Yeah, well, he still displays some symptoms from it in her office. So, yeah, he's still bothered, and she thinks that he'll need counseling for years to come. Um, is it hurt his sense of self-confidence, or what What do you see as a mom? Self-esteem. Yeah. You know, which is really important to any child, and that's the first thing that you notice that goes is the self-esteem. So we've been working over this past year to rebuild the self-esteem, and we've been doing quite good at it, but we have a lot more other issues, you know, anger, um, things that come out in his sessions, so we're working through them. Um, you know, separately, you are pursuing a lawsuit against the school district, yes? It, how's that going along? Well, we've got some time still, so any legal questions, though, my attorneys are happy to answer because I don't, I mix up legal stuff, I don't understand it, so mm -hmm. any types of things, obviously the lawsuit will be filed soon, though. So. You know, this is a story that has gotten so much public reaction. Um, when you look at the newspaper stories online, hundreds of people comment on these things. Mm -hmm. Some people are critical about the way um, you and your attorneys have handled this. They think that, that you're really out for money and not out for change. How do you respond to those critics? I think anybody in any position where you have to hire an attorney, there's always going to be two sides to that coin. Mm -hmm. And anytime it, it involves monetary compensation, people are not going to like it. And that's fine. But the reality is, if they were sitting in my shoes, I'd hope that they do the same thing. 
Uh, what do you hope happens to Wendy Portillo from here on out? I, I just hope that she learns from her mistakes and is able to grow as a person and is better for what she's been through and what she's put us through and what she's put St. Lucie County through. And my personal thought is she should probably find a different career path, but if she doesn't, I hope she does learn from this.